What's up everyone, my name is Alex Costa and it is no secret that every guy wants to have a great hairstyle. We want to look our best, not only for others, but also for us, you know, to give us a confidence boost, to make sure we look our best to get what we deserve, whether it's that dream job interview or dream date, your hairstyle says a lot about you. So today, I'm gonna show you how you can have amazing hair in just five steps. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Alex, and this is my channel where I talk about men's fashion, hair, fitness, and even dating advice. So if that sounds good to you, if you wanna learn more about these topics, then hit that subscribe button below and join the YouTube family. The first thing that you need to start doing immediately is using a blow dryer to shape your hair into your desired hairstyle. If you're one of those guys that have never applied heat to your hair to style it because you think it's girly, then you've never really reached your full potential. Think about that for a second. I'll tell you right now, these hairstyles here that you see on your screen right now, there is no chance that I could have achieved them without a blow dryer. It is game changing. It's like a hack that a lot of guys still don't know about or maybe they're just too stubborn to try it. The difference is night and day and I'll tell you why. The heat from the blow dryer makes your hair more flexible. It allows you to temporarily straighten curly hair or add curls to straight hair. It allows you to shape it in a way that you will not be able to do without heat. If you want volume, blow dry it upwards. If you want sleekness, blow dry it backwards and flatten it out. If you want to part your hair to the right, just blow dry it that way and it will stay there. This is step one. It's easy and it works. My hairstyle improved dramatically after I started blow drying. It is insane the difference it made. Heads up though, it will take you a week or two just to get used to handling the blow dryer, but don't give up, it will be worth it. Don't let that initial frustration keep you from achieving an amazing hairstyle. And if you want a tutorial, I'll leave a link to a video I did on how to blow dry your hair below. Next, find inspiration online before your next haircut, because this is what happens, right? You get to the barber, you sit on the chair, he asks you, so, so what are we going with today? I think it's so important to know what you you're going to get so that you can communicate that properly to your barber so he knows before he even starts touching your hair. You cannot go there and just say, take a little bit off the top, a little bit off the sides, and that should be good. Because then if he does a crappy job, there's nothing you can say. He took some off the top, he took some off the sides. You didn't give him clear direction. Guys, bring your phone with photos, videos, whatever it is that you need to show him. Dude, this is exactly what I want, all right? I want this hairstyle here. Maybe I want these highlights here from this guy. Save those photos on Instagram, on Pinterest. Search hashtag men's hairstyle, hashtag men's haircuts, and find the one that suits you best. Not only are you gonna get a much better haircut because of that, but also the barber will thank you because you're giving him clear direction. And if he messes up, then it is on him. Number three, you can't have amazing hair if you don't have hair. Guys, did you know that two out of three men, most guys, will experience some type of baldness before they're 35. Guys, 35 is young. I know it may seem like it's a long time away from some of you guys, but trust me, time flies and being bald by 35 does not sound fun, all right? And some start balding even way before then in their early 20s. I've seen it, I have friends balding in their early 20s. It's a very real thing. It happens to most guys, which is insane, right? But there is a solution. And I can tell you right now, I'm not ready to lose my hair. So I'm gonna do whatever it takes to keep it on my head. But it's actually pretty easy. Today's video sponsor is Keeps, and they're making this process so easy for you. Before Keeps, you used to have to go to a doctor's office, right? It's embarrassing, it's time consuming, it's very expensive. Now, thanks to Keeps, you can actually visit a doctor online and get a hair loss medication delivered to your home. So here's the deal. Keeps offers generic versions of the two, and there are only two. There are only two FDA approved hair loss products out there. Generic versions mean same ingredients, same results, but way more affordable. So even if you've tried those two products that are FDA approved, you've never tried them at these prices that Keeps will give you. They make it so easy and convenient and they deliver your medication right to your home every three months. So you're not going to any pharmacies, you're not facing any checkout lines or any awkward, embarrassing doctor visit. And just so you know guys, when it comes to hair loss, prevention is key. I get so many questions Alex, I'm losing my hair, what do I do? And it's frustrating, man. I feel you guys, I really do. You have to act fast because the sooner you start using Keeps, the more hair you're going to save. 
It's gonna keep that beautiful hair that you have on your head, not on the floor. That's not where it goes. And Keeps, these guys are legit. They have more five-star reviews than any of their competitors and hundreds of thousands of men trust them for their hair loss prevention medication. So they are the real deal. If you're tired of hair loss, if you're ready to fix it, then head over to keeps.com slash Alex or click the first link in the description below here to receive your special offer on Keeps treatments. That is Keeps dot com slash Alex. Number four, this is extremely important. A lot of guys don't know about this yet. Finding the best hairstyle for your face shape. Obviously, I told you guys to bring in inspiration on your phone, right? Bring in photos to your barber to make sure that he understands, he or she understands what they're doing and what you want, what your goal is. But you can look at other people's hairstyles on the internet all day, but if their face shape is completely different from yours, then it might not be the best suitable hairstyle for you. You just wasted a lot of time. Make sure that you're also looking at your face shape and what's going to suit you best. To give you a quick breakdown here, and I'm actually working on a very, very long video about this because I think it is such an important topic. Face shapes and hairstyles, you have to know everything about this because it is an amazing topic. And trust me, it's coming. It's literally like an hour long video and I'll tell you guys about it later. But basically what you're trying to do is this. If you have a round face shape, you need to change that and elongate your face shape to make it less round. If you have a really square face shape, you're trying to make it a little bit more oval and change things up. So how do you do that? Well, if you have a round face shape, if you get a buzz cut, it's gonna look even more round. But if you get something that has a lot of volume, then you're kind of stretching out your face shape. That's why you get a quiff with a lot of volume or a pompadour, you know, anything that really brings the hair up and elongates that face shape. There are six different face shapes and you have to measure your face to find out what type of face shape you have. There is an oval face shape, a square face shape, rectangle, a round face shape, diamond and a heart face shape. So figure out what face shape you have to then decide what hairstyle suits you best. And let me just get this out of the way, guys. Having a round face shape or oval face shape or square face shape, there is no bad face shape. Just so you know, no matter what you find out, there are hairstyles that will suit you really well. To give you a quick example, if you have an oval face shape, then you might want to try an undercut a brushed up fringe or a little bit longer hair and pushed back, kind of like mine here, but pushed back more like this if you have an oval face shape. But I definitely don't. I have a very square face shape, so let's go back to this. It's kind of interesting though. I mean, you clearly see that this hairstyle does not look as good on me as this hairstyle, it just does not, and that is because of my face shape. So keep your eyes peeled and hit that subscribe button below because the long face shape and hairstyle video is coming very, very soon. Next up, you need to find a barber or hairstylist that you completely trust. If he doesn't get you, right, if he doesn't know you, if he doesn't understand your style, then tr you're just sitting on the wrong chair. He's not gonna do a good job. So when you sit down in that chair, talk to him. And, hey dude, I have, I have this issue, I have this cow lick over here, my hairline is receding over here, I have very thin hair, I have very, very thick hair, I use these types of products, what do you recommend? Am I thinning, am I balding? Can you tell me what type of hair do I have? Your communication with your barber needs to be open, man. It's almost like, it's like a therapy chair. You know, you sit there and you're like, these are my problems, can you please solve my problems for me? You have to develop this friendship, you have to develop this relationship with your barber, because then he's gonna understand you, he, he, he knows what you want, you show him the photos and he can say, dude, this doesn't really suit you because this guy's hair is very different than the type of hair that you have. So trust me, it's just not gonna work. You need to be honest like that with your barber so that he can be honest with you in return. Because if you just show up and you're like, all right, this is the type of uh, hairstyle that I want, really looks good on this guy, he, and he tries it on you, knowing that you have very different hairstyles, that's not a good barber. He's not being honest with you. You need to find somebody who you can be friends with, who you can be honest with. I've been going to the same barber for four years now. My guy, Robert, you guys, you guys know him. You've seen him here in videos. And man, we have such a good relationship. You know, he's like, dude, we should try this. Try changing it up. And I'm like, I don't know. Fine, I trust you, let's get it. And it looks 
awesome every single time. So find somebody who can do the same with your hairstyle. And it looks awesome. So I'm really glad that I can trust them with my hair. Find somebody who understands your hair and you can trust. Also guys, would love to know what kind of hair videos you would like to see, what kind of hair tips you'd like from me. Leave those comments in the comment section below and I will answer them as fast as I can. Thank you so much Keeps for sponsoring today's video. Guys, check out keeps.com slash Alex to make sure that you are not thinning to get that hair back on track. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can find me on TikTok and Reels. It's at Alex Costa. Reels meaning Instagram. I feel like I've just been posting a lot of Reels, way less photos recently. If you guys follow me, what do you think? Should I keep doing that? I really enjoy shooting Reels. I enjoy posting them. So let me know if I'm on the right track here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace.